the pickle. Oh, ha, 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 ha. Hey! Wow, that came from my toes. All the time I turned around, brothers gather around, always looking at me up and down, looking at me. Come out, come uh, out, wherever you are. None of this is usable. Goodbye, you internet. Know. Hey, buddy. Welcome to Paranormal Spirits, <laughs> where we share a drink, we tell you a spooky story, mm-hmm. and we rip it apart, because booze always shows the truth. Ding, ding. Today, we're going to introduce our co-hosts. <laughs> I've got the slippery pickle here. <laughs> it's a pickle martini, gin, vermouth. Pickle juice and a couple of pickle slices dancing around. Everyone likes a dancing pickle. I'm going with my old faithful Tate, a little Tate, and uh, soda because a little Tate and soda, you can't go wrong. So everyone else, grab a drink, sit back, relax, and as always, playing along with us with Emily's Drinking Game. Emily's Drinking Game. Anytime we mess up a word or phrase, Mm -hmm. we drink. It's a lot. It happens a lot. So today, Caitlin, I have quite the little tale, and this is something we haven't talked about yet. A little UFO story for us today. Ooh, uh, aliens. Ooh, Ooh, aliens. Aliens. (laughs) I love it. It's so scary. (laughs) We're going to talk about a sighting that was actually really interesting. It happened at Chicago's O'Hare Airport. So in November of 2006, so this wasn't too long ago, this was spotted over Concourse C, Mm -hmm. which was the United Terminal, because people and aliens become united. We're united and it feels so good. A flying saucer-like object, which I find interesting, it was either flying saucer or not, flying saucer-like object was spotted over the United Terminal and it was seen by pilots airline management and mechanics. So this incident was reported in the Chicago, Chicago. It was reported in the Chicago Tribune and it was first seen by a United, it was first seen by a United ramp worker around 4.30 PM. So it was in the evening, wasn't dark. After that, a variety of witnesses said they also saw this and they described it as a dark gray object. And I found this interesting because it's quite the range, Um, but it said they described it anywhere between six to 24 feet. Six to like, that's, I guess it depends what guy you were talking to. All right. So it was uh, small or huge, small or huge. Yep. But I think they all said it was like dark gray. Some people saw it spinning. Some people saw it not spinning, but they all said it was stationary. So whether it was spinning or not, it was staying in the same place. But everyone agreed that the object was completely silent. There was no noise whatsoever. Yeah. Like I said, this was seen by mechanics that were on like the, the tarmac. Mm-hmm. There was like airplane management people. That's my title. I'm senior airplane management person. So they all said it was silent. And they said it appeared just below the 19,000, 19, oh, sorry. Yeah. The 1900 foot cloud deck. I don't know exactly where that is. And I would assume airplane people, especially pilots, would know, right? So they all saw it in the same, relatively the same position. We'll just say that. Okay. They saw it there until it went shooting off into the clouds Mm -hmm. and left a circular hole shape, like punch in the cloud. It's true. Roger rabbited out of the cloud. (laughs) I'm out. It looney left a hole. this way out of here. No. <laughs> that's all, folks. <laughs> there were several witnesses, but one mechanic said, and let me read you this quote, but I know that what I saw and what a lot of other people saw stood out very, very clearly, and it was definitely not an aircraft. And I, by that, I think he meant Earth aircraft. So there was a manager on Concourse B, who ran outside of his office after hearing about this, and he, too, saw this as well. As per usual with the UFO-type stories, the yeah. FAA... The FA- All right, the FAA dismissed the incident as weather phenomena, and there was a Dr. Mark Hammergren, who's an astronomer at the Adler Planetarium. Mm-hmm. He agreed. He said that it was a weather condition called 
a hole punch cloud. Okay, so this is what it is. It's something that occurs when a propeller or jet airplane pass <laughs> passes through when you have uniform cloud cover and the temperature is right near the freezing point. They make liquid water droplets freeze and a hazy disk of ice crystals descends from a hole and it looks like a perfect hole punch in the cloud. I googled this to see what this looks like. It's a very yeah. cool looking phenomena, but people saw the object and they saw it go through the cloud. I'm pretty right. sure a pilot would know if that was an airplane. I'm pretty sure people aren't so stupid. Like, I feel right. like one person might be so stupid, but right. yeah. multiple people can't be so stupid to think that it's like an ice thing. It's basically just like a cloud. The cloud has to be in like just the right conditions. And when an air, airplane passes through it, either the jet or the propeller kind of causes this hole, like expanding hole in the, in the cloud. These are people that work for the airlines. They work with airplanes. They would know if it was an airplane, right? Like you would think, especially the pilots. Right. Would be like, oh, that's an airplane passing through. But it was not. Not. It was never investigated by either the airline. Air. So it was never investigated by the airlines or the FAA. They just outright dismissed it like, oh yeah, this whole right. punch theory sounds perfect. While the good people of Chicago's O'Hare Airport are over right. here really wanting to know answers. There was a journalist, a Leslie Keene, who wrote a book. And in this book, she made a good point. It was hovering over Chicago Air. Chica <laughs> so basically she said it was hovering over the airport at rush hour. And a lot of people saw this. So you can't sit there and say all of these people saw some weird weather phenomena and thought it was a UFO. Like, so it, was, hmm. it wasn't It was just the airport people, other people right. saw it. There were, yeah, I think there were a couple of other people as well who saw it. Why did they never land? Would you? So basically the aliens came and they were like scoping out Chicago and they were like, F this, too cold, too windy, we out. And they punched a hole through the clouds and they peaced out. That uh, seemed to be the case. Anyway, that's Hello. the story of the O'Hare UFO incident in 2006. Thanks for joining us for our crappy story. Uh, if you like what you heard, I'm really sorry. You have terrible taste. But please do subscribe, like, ring my bell. I don't know. Keep drinking. Have a great day. Enjoy your booze. Drink responsibly, kids. So uh, get out of here. <laughs> Goodbye.